Did you know that the United Church of Canada is a player in the world of microfinance? We have investments and a voice in the largest microfinance organization in the world. But you probably never heard of it because it's very quiet. Not secret, it just prefers to do its work rather than market itself. So that's why we asked the United Church's representative to sit down and tell us about Oiko Credit. Yes, I'm Hans Van Nee. I'm uh, currently a minister at Trinity St. Paul's United Church in Toronto. Um, I've worked uh, for the United Church for uh, many years um, and as part of my work I did work overseas in Africa for six or seven years. Um, I'm also connected with an organization called Oiko Credit which is an international banking cooperative. It um, was conceived, let's say, by the World Council of Churches back in the 60s. Um, the idea was to create an international uh, church-based originally banking cooperative that would accept investments from the churches, that they would shift their investments from the stock market or um, corporate investments into this cooperative and then lend the money to people who are living in poverty so that the money of the church could be doing mission. It'd be kind of a way for the church to, um, you know, walk the talk, put its money where its mouth is and so on. So I've recently um, attended uh, some Oiko Credit meetings in uh, Latin America and uh, spent some time in Paraguay and uh, give you an example of one project that, um, that we visited there. And this is uh, essentially a, um, an organization made up of um, farmers, probably about a thousand farmers, and um, they're banding together actually through a private enterprise. We often work with co-ops and with microfinance institutions, but um, this is a privately formed enterprise that's highly socially aware. Um, they really have an intent to serve the farmers that we're, they're working with. And these farmers are growing soy and maize. And um, rather than selling these to wholesalers at a very low prices, um, they're working together to manufacture food products um, such as um, soy meal, um, corn puffs, cereals, um, grit, and um, Oiko Credit has provided them with a loan to uh, build a small factory um, in where these things can be produced. And um, the farmers are earning about 60% higher than their former wholesale prices on the food that they're producing. Um, it's also being processed in the community and that brings profit to the enterprise. It provides employment for the people that are living in the community. And so life is improving um, substantially in a place that was, uh, was essentially supporting very poor subsistence farmers. At the end of the day, um, through our experience and uh, I think at this point um, uh, objective measurement of social performance we see that people are being uh, pulled out of poverty, they're pulling themselves out of poverty and um, local economies are being developed, economies that work and uh, communities are um, increasing their standard of uh, living, their well-being um, rather dramatically through their own efforts with uh, the support of microfinance.